Good afternoon, see everyone. My name is Todd. I'm the founder of Outfit, and you're back for another one of our nine minute core workouts. If this is your first time, welcome. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do nine movements over the course of nine minutes, so one every 60 seconds. You're gonna be working the whole time, or as much as possible. I'll be working um, most of the time. I'm gonna stop early every minute. I'm gonna demonstrate what the next movement is. That way, hopefully, you're gonna have some seamless transitions. If this isn't your first time, I wanna welcome you back. Either way though, quick reminder, we have new workouts every week. So if you go ahead and subscribe, you turn on the notifications, you're gonna get notified and it really helps us out. We're a small channel, we're on our way to 5,000, we're only a couple hundred away, which means every subscription really counts, all right? With that being said, we're gonna hop in pretty fast. Two quick things to talk about. First off is a hollow body position, and then we'll talk about how that hollow body position applies to our first movement. So for the hollow body position, most important detail I want you to be thinking about is keeping your lower back flat on the ground. So in this position, I'm laying on the ground, thinking about pulling my belly button down to the ground, lower back is gonna be flat, legs are gonna be straight, heels together, toes pointed forward, and then arms overhead. So this will be my hollow body position. If I reference a lower hollow, I'm thinking more just about this middle section and not as quite concerned about your arms being up overhead. Okay, so that's our hollow body position. First station is gonna be our scissor kicks. So from here, I'm thinking hollow body, arms to the side, and now I'm gonna have my legs go up and down, but I'm just gonna go ahead and touch, 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 give you a little extra something to do in between those kicks. And that's gonna be our first 60 seconds, all right? We're gonna be hopping in, we got 10 seconds to go before we get going, nine minutes, nine stations. We're starting about five seconds. First station is gonna be our scissor kicks in three, two, one. <laughs> all right, here we go, this is it. 60 seconds scissor kicks we're going in. So, a couple things I want you to be thinking about. First off, keep these legs straight. Squeeze your quads so your legs stay straight. Bent, straight, so flex those quads, okay? Uh, good, toes pointed forward. I can't talk and touch my hands at the same time. Um, and then from here, it's just find a steady pace, okay? It's 60 seconds of work. We are about 30 seconds in. You're about 30 seconds to go here, all right? If you're not able to make contact to your hands, that's okay. Um, you can just go ahead, keep your hands to the side and just work. But I do want it to be a big kick. I want it to be a big kick, which is why I'm having you touch, which is different than the other ones that we do, the little flutter kicks, which are just gonna be super small. And notice that like I can't touch in between those, all right? You got about 10 seconds to go. Next up's gonna be some hike overs, 10 seconds. So I'm gonna use this remote as a, dis as a visual display. Pick a spot, go over, and then back, all right? Go ahead and switch. So legs are straight, heels together, toes pointing forward, hands are lightly on the ground. Touch, 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 okay? So this is a small movement. If this is one where you have to start taking breaks, two things I want you to be thinking about. Count your reps. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest, 3, 2, 1, and then right back to it. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, and then right back to it. You have about 20 more seconds. Keep going with these pike overs. Pike raises will be next. Ooh, a lot of pikes happening right now. Pike raises are hollow body position. Uh, we're switching in 10 seconds. Hollow body, arms to your side, toes forward, toes to the ceiling. Toes forward, toes to the ceiling. Switching in three, two, here we go. All right, so here we go. All right, a couple of things I want you to notice on these. First off, notice that I'm coming up onto my shoulders, and then forward onto my shoulders, and then forward. What I'm not doing is just bringing my legs up, and then forward, and then up, and then forward. Hopefully you can see the difference between the two. The other thing I want you to be thinking about is right now we have our hands down by our side. If you want to make this a little more challenging, one small change, instead of having your hands down, Rotate, rotate, rotate. Get your palms to the ceiling and into a supinated position, fancy word. Come up, reset, come up, reset. It's gonna force you more to focus on pushing through the middle and less through the arms and shoulders. We're switching in just about 10 seconds. All right, coming up next is gonna be our single arm plank. So we're either gonna do a single arm plank or you're gonna do shoulder taps. I'll show you shoulder taps first in three, two, one. Good, so wide base, one hand touches the other shoulder, pause, 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 good. So one, I want you to pause. We pause at a lot of our end ranges of motion. 
But today, in particular, for this motion, we're working on a single arm plank. So making those pauses longer and longer is just gonna be building this stability. Um, we're gonna switch sides in five seconds. Three, two, one. So if you're doing a single arm plank, you just switched arms. So it's 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Otherwise, we're just back to our shoulder taps. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Good, take your time. Very good. All right, got about 15 seconds before we got our next station. It's gonna be some mountain climbers, 10 seconds. So we're gonna take our opposite knee to our opposite elbow today. We're switching in just about five seconds. Opposite knee, opposite elbow mountain climbers in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Woo! Okay, hey, happy Saturday, everybody. Last Saturday, it's a little late getting it up. Sorry about that. My home internet went down for about a week and it was shockingly debilitating. <laughs> This should be pretty normal though. When this comes up on Saturday, 31 days, 31 days until summer. We are 25 seconds in, 35 seconds to go. So we're cruising, final push last month. Whew, okay. Looking good, looking good. Opposite elbow, opposite knee, opposite elbow, opposite knee. You got just less than 20 seconds to go. Coming up next, is gonna be doing some bird dogs, all right? So this is our third station. We did single arm plank, some mountain climbers, 10 seconds, we'll go into the bird dogs, and then we'll get off of our hands and knees. Bird dog, extend one arm, the other leg, reset, and then switch. Good, go ahead and switch. Hold, switch, hold, switch, hold, switch, good, get the idea. Okay, so for bird dogs, quick reminder, get long. Reset, get long and reset. What I'm not doing is just overextending up and then overextending up, that's not the movement. Get long, reach the wall in front, reach the wall behind you. Reset, get long and then reset, good. You're 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go here. Good, so we got some tuck ups coming up next. Keep working on those bird, those bird dogs. Tuck ups are gonna be next. Tuck ups are gonna go Start with this hollow body position again, all right? Switching in less than about 10 seconds. Hollow body, tuck up, reset to a hollow, tuck back up. We're switching in five seconds. We're switching in three, two, one, here we go. Good, hollow, tuck and hold. Hollow and hold, tuck and hold. Good, hollow and hold, tuck and hold, hollow and hold, and tuck and hold. Big thing I want you to notice, is just like with the pipe raises, I'm not just staying on my back here, right? So I'm not going hollow, knees in, hollow, knees in. That's not what I'm doing. Every time from this hollow position, I'm balancing on my tailbone here. So it's gonna take a little bit of practice to get used to being able to balance in that nice upright position. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Good, tuck, pause, hollow, pause. Tuck, pause, hollow, pause. Good, you got about 20 more seconds to go. Keep going. And we're gonna head into a static hold. We're gonna head into a forearm plank here. Two static holds actually. Forearm plank, tuck hollow hold. That's a fun way to end the workout today. Five seconds, forearm plank's coming up. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. All right, forearm plank. You wanna do a tall plank? Straight arms, that's fine. You're welcome to do that. What a heavy side that was, Brooklyn. <laughs> Her job is tough over here. Okay, squeeze your quads, keep your legs straight. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your butt, keep your hip open, and then nice tight core. And then that's our plank position. Whew. All right, hang in there. We're gonna get through this. Tuck, hollow, hold. We're gonna get you back to Saturday. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. That means you have less than 90 seconds of work to go total. Okay, less than 90 seconds, so you got this. Whew. Good. Careful, don't let your hips sag, sag, sag. Don't let your butt go up into the sky either. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your butt, squeeze your stomach, and get a nice straight line through that mid middle there. Good, 10 seconds, we're gonna switch. Last station's gonna be coming up, five seconds. Tuck, hollow, hold, good. We're switching in Ooh, right now. Whew. Here we go. All right, here we go. That went fast, huh? Eight minutes in, one minute to go. It's you, it's me, it's Brooklyn. Doesn't even phase her. It's just you and me. All right, where are we at? 
45 seconds to go. So you're about 15 seconds in. This is it. Good, hang in there. If you need to scale it, you can bring one leg in. Three, two, one, and switch. Three, two, one, and switch. Three, two, one, and switch, good. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Good, it burns, I know it burns, I can feel it. If you're feeling it, I feel it too, trust me. 20 seconds, we're gonna be done. Good, last 15. Hang in there. 10 seconds to go, you got this. Uh-huh, let's do it, come on, five seconds. Don't come out of position. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Hello! How do you know it's over? How do you know? Good job, good job, good job. Hey, you come have a seat. You come have a seat. Sit, can you sit? All right, hey, you got this far. You got this far, congratulations, you got through the workout. You must have liked it if you're still here. Do me a favor, do us a favor, how about that? Um, if you hit the like button, it helps other people find it. And if you hit the subscribe button, we're trying to get to 5,000. Every subscription really counts, so. Hi, hi. <laughs> um, so if you can go ahead and hit subscribe. New workouts every week. If you're in the New York City area, we have workouts right here at the Outfit Workout Studio in Chelsea. Uh, we have Monday at 6.30, Monday p.m. at 6.30, and then Saturdays at one o'clock. Um, we'll have that until June, um, June or so. So with all that being said, it's time to get out of here. We're gonna go play or something. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll go do something. Hopefully I'll see you soon, either at a workout <laughs> online or in person. Until then, take care. You're such a good girl. See ya. Bye.